Mm. It's me and the team. Uh, so I'm Rory, I'm a community learning disability nurse and I'm the mental health and the team. My name is Becky and I'm a speech and language therapist in the team. My name's Sophie and I'm the lead nurse for the Men and Disability Service. Rory, what has made you decide to work with people with a learning disability? Um, so I grew up in an institution for people with learning disabilities in the staff houses because my mum and dad worked there and uh, I was included in all the activities, all the events and then when I moved out of there into a village I noticed that my friends weren't as comfortable around people with learning disabilities as I was. So when it came to choosing a university course I thought I'll go for learning disability nursing because I wanted to improve inclusion in the community and also help people with learning disabilities with their health. Thank you, Rory. Sophie, how do you feel about your job? I love my job and I love the team and I look forward to coming to work every single day um, and I just feel so inspired by the whole team but particularly the nursing team that I manage. Um, I learn something new from the team every day and it just makes me really happy. What role are you in, in, in your team? So I am a speech and language therapist in the team um, and what that I kind of have two parts of my job. So one part of my job is working with people around their communication skills. So that will be to help people learn maybe some new signs, help their staff team understand how they're communicating, and give them more opportunities to communicate in a way that suits them. And then the second part of my job is dysphagia management. So that's about eating and drinking skills. So if someone's got a problem with their eating and drinking or they might be coughing quite a lot on their food, then I go and work with them and see if we can make that a little bit better for them. Okay. What's the best part of your job? So, <laughs> my favourite part of my job is uh, working with people under the Transforming Care Agenda. So that's moving people out of long stay hospitals or people under the Mental Health Act and helping people live safely back in the community. I think my favourite part of my job is working, pe working with people around their communication skills. So it might be working with the staff team to help them understand how the service user, how the individual is communicating and that can be really important for somebody. Um, and it empowers people and one other part of my role is to look at what we call high tech communication devices. That might be like an iPad or an iGaze computer. Um, and I really like doing that because it gives people a bit more choice and it empowers them with their communication. And the best part of my job is meeting new people and getting to understand the problems that they're having and working with them in order to make sure that they get happier and healthier. Okay. Do you all work on the same day? So we are all full time, so we all work Monday to Friday. Okay. Um, but there's some people in our team that only do part time, so they maybe work on a Wednesday and a Tuesday. Um, but we see most of the people most weeks, don't we? Yeah. And we all we all sit in the same office and we all sit on the same floor. So like today I was sitting next to Sophie, so we all sit next to each other and we'll do the works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although Sophie likes to chat, so you get a bit distracted. <laughs> 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 But we are all Monday to Friday. All like right. the service is Monday to Friday, nine to five. Alright. Mm. Is there anything you have done and you particularly proud of to help people with a learning disability sit and join your team? One of my favourite things that I've done is um, help design the My Health Matters book. Um, and that is Barnett's version of a health action plan. And the idea of having this book is to make sure that uh, people with learning disabilities have all of their health. Um, information in one document and it's got communication tools as well. We worked with um, people with learning disability to create the document um, and the aim is for everyone with a learning disability to have a My Health Matters book in mind. What's the best part, um, what's, what's the best part of your team? Oh, my team. Oh, my team. I think uh, the best part for me is when we work with people together. So if Becky and I go out to see someone and I get to see the perspective of a speech and language therapist and Becky gets to see what I'm thinking as a nurse and then we work together in order to make things better for the person. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, 
I noticed that you I should said number one, one what, what's wrong with your team? I should say number one and number two. That's okay, can we ask those questions afterwards? That's alright, is that okay, yeah? Yeah, just yeah, ask yeah, any question fine. you want. Okay. That's fine. I think what I really like as well is because we're a really close team that you can just, like you said, we can just kind of ask people their opinion about things and it might be that Sophie's got a slightly different opinion about it than I have and we kind of work together to kind of problem solve and to see what would work best for that person, mm -hmm. which I think is really valuable. And I think that's um, really evident that we've got a thing called the at risk of admissions meeting. And it's where we all sit together <coughs> to talk about people most at risk of um, going into hospital or having a placement breakdown. And uh, we all work so well together that we have only had one hospital admission in a very long time. So it's really good. Thank you for watching our video. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you see the broken bonnets. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you see, uh, we can see us on the website. Thanks.